What's up guys, Cord Gamer here with another video, and today I want to talk about the upcoming Call of Duty installment, Call of Duty 69, otherwise known as Vanguard. Just a few days ago, we all got our first leak of the cover art for a couple of the different editions of Vanguard, along with some basic information about the time period of the game, which is going to be set in World War II, that was quote unquote accidentally leaked out in the most recent Warzone Season 5 patch code. This Call of Duty title is coming in during a bad time for the franchise. Call of Duty has been in a pretty rough state with its fanbase over the past 10 years. While for some strange reason COD is the top seller almost every year, the COD franchise hasn't had a solid home run of a game that pleased most of its fanbase since Black Ops 2, which came out all the way in 2012 by the way. With Black Ops Cold War being disappointing at best, and Warzone losing its steam, I think that if Activision focuses on three key things with Vanguard, they have the potential to make an actually good Call of Duty game for once. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed, please consider doing so as I come out with videos every Monday covering a variety of gaming content. But nevertheless, let's get right into it. One aspect that Modern Warfare 2019 and Black Ops Cold War share is the inclusion of SBMM in casual matches. For those of you who don't know of this hindrance placed on COD for the past two years, SBMM, or skill-based matchmaking, refers to the algorithm used when putting together casual lobbies that group people together based on their stats or skill, such as their KD, win rate, and or accuracy, instead of prioritizing connection speeds. Activision implemented this algorithm for their lobbies with the intention of keeping players at the same scale together, with the goal of protecting the noobs of the game from getting absolutely destroyed. While someone on the outside might say, well, that's not so bad. What's wrong with helping everyone have a good time? SBMM causes three different issues. The first issue arises when you realize that when you're only fighting people as good as yourself, you have to sweat or try hard to do good in a casual round. In a casual game mode, I shouldn't have to be trying hard to do good in a round. In a ranked match, sure, yes, that's what that mode is for, but not in a casual match. The second problem this causes is you never learn how to actually get better. In traditional Call of Duty games, you get randomly placed in a lobby with people in your area, with some people that are better than you, the same as you, and worse than you. When you play against or even with people better than you, you almost always learn something new, whether it's a flank route, a new gun, or even playstyle. You lose that ability to kind of learn from a general populace more than just the people that you're at your own skill level. And the third issue that SBMM causes is that you lose the ability to become knowledgeable about your lobby or even make friends from it. There's a special charm about playing with the same people over and over again in a single night. And there's a unique camaraderie in it, almost reminiscent of chilling at the park as a little kid. And there's no feeling in the world that rivals killing that one goaded player in the lobby even if it took 15 rounds. Overall, SBMM in casual matches makes the whole experience less fun for everyone and should be taken out. One thing I've really been disappointed in with the last few Call of Duties is the lack of content at launch. When the original Black Ops came out, it released with 14 unique multiplayer maps with a variety of map styles, locations, aesthetic, and sizes. So for the supposed direct sequel made 10 years later called Black Ops Cold War, you'd expect it to outshine the original in every way including content, right? Right? Wrong. Nope. Cold War released with eight maps, almost half of the content of its current predecessor. It didn't even release with Nuketown. Nuketown, the classic Call of Duty Black Ops map, Nuketown. With a game like Call of Duty that has pretty simplistic gameplay, map variety is crucial to hold any sort of player base. However, the most important thing for Activision to focus on with Vanguard to have a great game is to focus on making it fun. Modern Warfare 2019, while I enjoyed it, focused too much on being realistic and tactical with its maps and gameplay. This really forced and encouraged the camping epidemic in that game that is normally in all Call of Duties at some extent, but definitely in that game for sure. And Cold War, while being boring as fuck, seem to be more focused on the competitive scene with very plain and boring maps, no unique guns, and one gun from each category that kind of just outperforms the rest, which is kind of nice, I guess, to have like a clean cut AR and SMG and whatever for competitive. 
With no official gameplay release, no one can say if Vanguard is aiming to be like a World War II sim or a more arcadey take on World War II. Whatever Activision has chosen to do, they need to put the emphasis on the fun, or even just the unique factor of each of their individual game elements. Because if a game isn't fun, why even bother playing it? In conclusion, I can only hope Activision is going to do these things to their game. If anything, while I still doubt that Vanguard is going to be a good game, with the Activision Blizzard lawsuit going on and Warzone hacked as shit, there has never been a better time for Activision to try and earn their fans back before Halo Infinite, Battlefield 2042, and even Tom Clancy's X Defiant comes out. But what do you guys think? Can Activision actually make a good Call of Duty game? Let me know down in the comments below. If there are any topics that you'd like me to cover, put them down also in the comments, and your idea just may become a video one day. If you made it this far, please hit that red subscribe button as I produce videos every Monday, and go ahead and hit that like button too. With all that being said, this concludes my video for today. I'm Cord Gamer, and I'll see you next time.